Welcome to Delphi Labs. My name is Paweł Głowacki and today I'm going to focus on Delphi data snap communication filters. In data snap architecture you can use different communication protocols like TCP IP or HTTP and you can also use communication filters that make it possible for the programmer to modify the actual byte stream that is exchanged between client and the server. Okay, let's switch to Delphi and let's build a a simple system uh, consisting on, of the server. So I'm going to uh, select a standalone data snap uh, server and the client in a moment. So for the server I'm going to uh, select the VCL forms application. I'm going to keep all the default values. I'm going to only use uh, TCP IP uh, protocol for connectivity and I want the wizard to generate some sample methods. Uh, I'm going to see if my uh, port 211 is open and I'm going to uh, keep the default T component as my uh, base class for my server methods class. OK, click on finish and that's always a good idea uh, to save uh, the application uh, before we continue. So I have a special uh, folder prepared here. So this is my uh, form uh, server uh, unit module. I'm going to keep the default uh, values for my uh, server uh, methods uh, units and I'm going to uh, give this uh, project a name uh, filter server. So that's my uh, filter uh, server, filter server in the caption uh, of the form. Okay, so I'm not going to modify uh, a lot, uh, so the, I'm only going to uh, go to the server container unit and in the server container unit I can find a DSTCP server transport component. So for uh, any um, data snap server uh, application you can have a number of transport components connected to the DS uh, server component. So this particular uh, component represents connectivity uh, on port uh, 211 uh, using uh, communication protocol uh, TCP IP. Every transport uh, component has a, a filters property which is a collection uh, of filters. You can go and open the collection editor and add a number of different filters uh, to, the, to this particular transport. So Delphi uh, out of the box comes with uh, three uh, different communication filters. Uh, two of them are for encryption, so this is PC1 and RSA. So with them you can implement two-phase communication protocol that allows public-private uh, key exchange. And also uh, there is a Zlib compression uh, filter that is used for uh, compression. So we are going to use this one. Uh, it's simpler to set up and it's great for uh, my demonstration uh, purposes today. So I have uh, set up uh, the mm, Zlib uh, communication just to make sure that everything is prepared. So here is my uh, Zlib compression filter. At this stage my server is ready. I can now run it uh, because it needs to be uh, running uh, before I'm able uh, to develop a client. I'm going to add to my project group a new uh, project. This time it's going to be just a straightforward uh, VCL forms application. I'm going to uh, save this uh, unit again in the in the same uh, filters uh, directory. Uh, so this is going to be my form client uh, unit and I'm going to call my uh, project uh, just uh, filter client. Okay, the project group maybe just uh, filters group whatever. So in this way uh, I have now my uh, filters uh, client uh, ready. I'm going to build a very quickly a simple uh, interface for invoking a test uh, reverse uh, string method so I'm going to add uh, one uh, edit and I'm also uh, going to add one uh, button uh, to the form. So I'll have a, a button uh, and a little edit. So now what I need to do is also to add a, a T SQL uh, connection component. Uh, so this is the component that provides connectivity to my uh, data snap server. The first thing is to select the proper driver which is a data snap. The moment that you select a data snap you see there is a number of properties that are specific uh, to uh, this uh, driver. And also it's a good idea to uh, 
change the login prompt to false we don't want to see uh, any login information okay uh, so uh, you can see now that uh, it's a good idea uh, to also set up uh, the same filter on a client side so in the filters property uh, I need to set up uh, the same filter because otherwise uh, my uh, communication is not going to work uh, because if the server uh, is encrypting the communication the client needs to know uh, to decrypt it as well so now I should be able to click on connected uh, when I click on connected uh, then I see that I'm connected at design time so now it's a great moment to generate uh, data snap uh, client classes uh, I'm going to uh, save this unit which is part of my client uh, project as proxy and I'm going to switch to my form client unit and I need to add uh, this new unit uh, to my uh, client project okay so now I see uh, that it has been added to the users clause of my uh, of my uh, client project so now let's very quickly uh, implement uh, the functionality so I'm going to define a variable called uh, client so this is going to my T server uh, methods uh, client okay that's fine and I'm going to now to actually first instantiate this guy so I'm going to pass a SQL connection dot uh, DBX connection this is a, a property that actually makes a connection uh, between uh, this uh, this proxy class and this particular uh, component uh, that is connecting to our server so it's always a good idea to make sure that when we are done with a client it's properly uh, freed even if there are uh, maybe some communication exceptions or anything so I'm going to implement it very quickly uh, edit one text uh, equals and then my a client provides my reverse string and I'm going to change the value inside the um, edit box uh, directly okay so that's my uh, client and I'm going to uh, run it and I get uh, some error so what is this error so this is something that I was expecting so let me run it with debugging I see that project cli filter client tries an exception with message illegal argument I actually know what is this problem uh, because uh, on the client side and this is really not a uh, obvious thing you need to make sure that you also add a DBX communi uh, communication filter uh, unit this is the DBX compression 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 filter so that's the name of the unit so if I go to the this unit and the bottom I see uh, that in initialization uh, section uh, there is uh, this uh, call to register filter and this is my transport uh, compression filter here so this is necessary uh, to do uh, on the on the on the on the client side so notice also that if you want to implement your own communication filter the only thing you need to do uh, is to uh, define a class that derives from T transport filter and that the very minimum uh, you should implement uh, actually overwrite uh, the function ID which uh, returns the ID in our case this is Z zlib compression filter and also you need to override these two functions one is a uh, process input it takes the uh, um, array of bytes and it returns the add, uh, array of bytes and also you need to do a process output that also takes uh, bytes and returns bytes so this is an opportunity for you to do any processing uh, on the communication string so for example uh, when you uh, change uh, the byte stream uh, in the process input you should implement the opposite uh, operation in process output uh, so you get back to the same uh, data stream uh, that has been processed by the process input okay so if I now uh, run my client application I still got errors because my client is still running so this is my client so I need to stop the client before I will be able uh, to
to successfully uh, run it. Okay, in this Delphi Labs episode, uh, we have uh, implemented a server and a client using DataSnap uh, technology uh, that communicates uh, using uh, TCP IP protocol on port 211 and the uh, communication uh, between client and server uh, is compressed. Thank you very much.